So I am Sue Ha from the Mind Your Mind and Mental Health Group, and I'm here with Bob Crobert, a former Detroit Red Wings uh, player. Just a couple questions, if that's okay. Sure. Uh, first, what was your experience in the NHL? and the NHL life? Oh, it was great. I played uh, 17 years. I was fortunate. I only uh, played for two teams, Detroit and Chicago, and uh, uh, I just had a great career, and uh, I have no regrets. That's good. Um, well, who was your favorite player, and who was your favorite player to play with, and why? Um, when I was with Detroit, my favorite player was Steve Eiserman, and he was just, uh, just a great, uh, great athlete. Uh, great person, and um, he was the captain of the team, and he, he led the, uh, by example. He led uh, on the ice uh, with his uh, with his great play and and um, being able to get a lot of points. And um, it was I was just it was a I was very fortunate at that time in my career that I was able to play with uh, one of the best players ever to play the game. Mm, that's good. And I um, I heard you suffered from uh, drug addiction. How was it hard for you? To, was it hard for you? To well, uh, yes, I went, uh, I've had some uh, well-known uh, uh, matters uh, throughout my career. And, you know, when I was younger, it was uh, alcohol and then later led to uh, some harder drugs. And um, then when I, when I went to Chicago, the team was very helpful there. And I, I got involved with uh, the league drug program and, and uh, did very well and uh, finished off my career uh, drug and alcohol free. That's good. Um, if you were to give up one thought of encouragement uh, to you struggling with addiction, what would it be? Well, I'll just hang in there and, and uh, you know, for myself, uh, I was pretty hard-headed hard and it, it took a few times before I uh, um, finally got it. But uh, uh, just hang in there and, uh, and things do get better. That's good. And um, what do you wish you, if someone had told you when you were during your hard times and do you think it might have made a difference? Well, my father died when I when I was uh, when I was young. I was uh, 17 years old when he passed away. So I I kind of missed that father figure, and and uh, then I moved away from home at a young age. So I had a lot of freedom, um, and uh, I just think uh, yeah, maybe if I I would have had uh, somewhat of a, a, a father figure at during those uh, those early years in the NHL, and maybe a little more guidance, then I think it uh, it probably uh, would have helped uh, a lot. Well, thank you. That's it. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay.